Today I'm back at my parents' house for some more decluttering in the garage and today we're focusing on Christmas decor and holiday stuff. In part one of the garage declutter, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a whole series about it and so many of you said yes, so I'm back again to do some more decluttering. If you guys did not see part one of the garage declutter, I will link it up here and down below for you guys. I'm really excited to get started, but before we do that, I want to show you an update of the space that I declutter last time and see how it looks now. So if you guys remember from the last video, I worked on the trunk of this car and all the stuff that was on it. And I know it looks kind of messy, but it's actually not that bad. It's kind of like how I left it with a couple of stuff that's been added that I did not put there, but I see a few Christmas stuff back here that I'm gonna go through and see what we can declutter. And for those of you guys who haven't seen my part one video yet, this is my parents' messy garage and I would say it's pretty borderline hoarder. So really want to make an effort to try to declutter as much as I can. And this time I'm gonna have actually my dad help me, but it's gonna be off camera because my family doesn't like to be on camera. So I totally respect that. The last time I was in here, I realized how much Christmas stuff my dad has. I want to try and pull out as much as I can and pull it out into the front yard just so I have it all laid out there and then sort through everything and see what we want to keep and what we want to get rid of. So again, this is a little overview of what the garage looks like right now. So if you guys want to see more of my decluttering journey with my parents' garage, make sure you are subscribed, hit that button below, and tap the bell to be notified when I upload videos. So I got my gloves on and I'm going to start pulling stuff out. These gloves are way easier to work with than the other ones I had last time. <laughs> Thanks to whoever commented last time to wear different gloves. <laughs> I know for a fact my dad actually wants to keep this nativity set that's back there so I think I'm just gonna leave that there for right now but I did pull out everything that was on there that is Christmas related so we're gonna go put it over there I have so many questions about so many things in here like what kind of tree do you put these giant ornaments on like why why So there's a lot of things that have lights on them, so I'm going to test everything and see if anything is working or not. And for those things that are broken or not working anymore, I'm going to put to the side as a trash or recycle. I don't know if you guys can see that or not because it's so bright out, but this looks like it's all working. All the lights are turned on. So this is going to go to the keep pile. This Christmas tree we've had for a really long time and it always sits on the front yard and it looks really cool out there but my dad hasn't used this in several years and I wasn't sure if it was because it was broken or he just doesn't like to use it anymore but we'll see what he says later if he wants to keep it because as you can see the lights still all work. We have this wreath. Let's see if it works. Nope, looks like this one plugged in doesn't work. So I'm gonna go put it in the trash pile. And then we have another wreath, which is huge. I think it's like Costco sized. Um, looks like this is not working either. So that was basically all the Christmas stuff that was on top of the trunk of the car, besides that one that I mentioned earlier. So now we're gonna go back into the garage and try to find other Christmas stuff to pull out. I want to show you guys a point of view of what it's like to walk through the garage. There is very little space and 
my goal is for one day for there to be enough space to walk by without feeling really cramped so yeah that is my goal so here is some christmas stuff also i know for a fact that those bins have christmas stuff there is a santa hanging out over there another wreath and these bins are all Christmas stuff too. I just ripped the box. <laughs> oh, these are heavy. So this is bin number one of Christmas lights. And like I said earlier, my dad has a ton of Christmas stuff. So try to keep count of how many bins I pull out. So I was just pulling out bin number two, and while I was doing that, I walked by and I knocked over this box of crap. Now I have to pick that all up. Ugh, okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. Just pushed out bin number three. <laughs> and what do you know? More lights. It started at 1.30, it is now 2.40, and honestly it feels like I've been doing this a lot longer than just an hour, but I think we're making some progress. I'm just so surprised at how many lights there are, and there's still more bins that I have to look through. And now I'm really thirsty. So this is where we're at right now, and honestly I'm quite overwhelmed with everything. There's just a lot of lights that I've been going through to just see if they work or not and that has been really time consuming and it looks like most of the lights work so now when my dad gets here I'm going to have him see which lights he wants to keep and which ones he wants to get rid of because there are four bins full of lights and I've even found some boxes that have never been opened so We'll see what he wants to do with that. This is another bin that actually doesn't have any lights. It's mostly just random decor items and ornaments. So still have to go through that. And these two bins right here also have Christmas stuff. But I honestly don't even know if I'm going to have time to go through everything. Um, just because it's getting late and I only have so much time. So... Maybe this video needs a part two. <laughs> this pile so far, um, on this left side, everything here is broken, not working. These are giant ornaments that I've never seen my dad use. Here are some other miscellaneous ornaments, some old Christmas candy sitting there, some ornaments that we have to go through. This bag has a bunch of gift boxes that are unused or unopened and some Christmas hats. So everything in this bag we're actually going to keep. Those lights right there are going to get rid of. These things over here we might keep and everything on this side is what we're keeping. So next we're going to see which lights we can declutter because I honestly want to get it down to three bins or even two if possible of lights but again it's kind of hard to get my dad to declutter and let go of some of these lights i just know it's not realistic for my dad to use all of them and honestly i don't think he ever has i think what makes it hard for him to let go is that for one he spent money on these lights two i feel like it's part of his fantasy self where he has an idea of 
having all these lights up and having our house really decorated and nice for Christmas but the number one problem that he has is that he doesn't have time so that's something that I want to bring up with him just let him know that you know you have all these lights and it's okay to let them go other people can use them for their home and I know he ideally wants to have the house full of Christmas lights and make it look really cool but realistically he just does not have time to put up not even half of these lights so we'll see how that goes so far the bin count is one two three four five six plus the two back there one hour later so my dad is home from work and now he can finally help me with all of this stuff that i've pulled out and we're just going through everything, organizing the lights, how he wants them organized, and also letting go of the ones that he is willing to let go. There were certain lights that he wanted to just double check to make sure that they were working or were not working, and that just gave him peace of mind. He actually came up with the idea of taking some of the things that were in boxes out because a lot of these boxes are really old and really don't work well anymore so it was his idea to take it all out of the packaging and set it aside to recycle. Here is a trash can full of things. Hi, that's me through the ornament. And yeah, I was really happy to see that we were able to fill up a whole trash can of things that we are recycling and throwing away. Like the majority of people, my dad works a lot and he hardly has time to declutter or organize things in the garage, which is one of the main reasons why it is the way it is right now. But I know he's really grateful for me that I come around and help him declutter, even if it's just a little bit every once in a while. And I am grateful for you guys who are watching this because you guys are helping me help him. And so... I appreciate you guys. One thing that I talk about in my videos a lot is that once you start decluttering, you kind of get that ball rolling and you just kind of want to keep going and that's what my dad ended up doing here which was pretty awesome to see. He started looking through other stuff and he was decluttering himself without me telling him to do anything so that was really nice to see. Hey guys, so I'm editing the video and I forgot to do an outro but I just wanted to quickly say that all in all I feel like we did a good job doing the Christmas declutter and I'm actually proud of my dad for letting some lights go even though it wasn't as many as I had hoped for like I said in the video I had hoped for at least getting down to one or two to three bins at least of lights but he wanted to keep them all and I was like you know what that's okay if you want to keep them all I'm not gonna pressure you to get rid of everything but but at least we got rid of the ones that were broken or not working and I'm really proud of my dad for being willing to let go of the lights as far as the other bins that did not have lights in them that were more Christmas decor stuff I'm actually thinking I'm going to get to those maybe during Christmas time when we're actually putting up the Christmas tree and the Christmas lights and maybe either before or after Christmas time, see which ones we can declutter and I'll probably do a video on that as well. Also, this video is in collaboration with Dawn the Minimal Mom and other YouTubers who are also doing some simplifying of Christmas decorations. So make sure you check out the playlist link down below to check out everyone else's videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet and i'll see you guys very soon bye